Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent super size scaling inside of Wix Studio. If you're not really sure what I'm talking about is when your user has a really big, like maybe 4K size screen and the buttons get really huge, the text gets really huge and everything just seems really disproportionate. So I'm gonna teach you a couple techniques that may help you solve that issue. Now I will say that the Wix Studio development team does have have a feature planned in the near future where they're going to allow us to set a maximum value width for the website. So until that feature comes out, this is how we can do it inside of Wix Studio. But before we get started, I do want to mention that if you want to see videos just like this, but before anybody else, you can press that join button down below the video to become a channel member. I typically release videos one to four weeks early, so channel members always get to see the videos first. And it's also a great way to help support the channel. Now, I will say just by subscribing, and viewing the videos, you are supporting the channel already. So I just wanna say I thank you guys for watching the videos. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am in Wix Studio, and just for fun, you can see if I make the screen really big, how big everything gets. And that's not ideally what you want your websites to look like. It just seems way too large. Um, so we don't really want it, things to get this big typically. So how can we fix this? So the first thing that I would probably do is let's just recreate this section really quickly. What I might wanna do is actually add a container to the section first. And maybe for this section, I might want to go ahead and turn on the advanced sizing. And maybe we can set this to 90% width. I'm gonna go ahead and center this and send it to the top. And I might want to also add maybe 5% margin to the top and the bottom, okay? So now we should have something that looks like this. We'll make it a little bit bigger and we can come over to the height of the section and just say, set it to zero. So what we're gonna want to do with this section right here is we're gonna wanna set a maximum width. So we're gonna come over to maximum width and maybe we can set this to like 1440. So that means even on the ultra wide screens, you can see that the section is no longer getting bigger. And that's kind of what we want. So now if I go ahead and grab the stack, copy it and I paste it inside of this and we resize the screen, you'll notice that everything is still getting really, really big. So how can we fix that? The first thing is by selecting the element, coming over to min and max, and we can set this maximum to be maybe like 32 pixels. Cause right now on this editing size it is set to 24. And I'll also go ahead and set like a minimum value. So maybe on mobile, it doesn't get any smaller than 16. I'll go ahead and do that for this one as well. We can see that its current size is 42. So maybe the maximum it can get is 64 and 24 is the smallest. And last but not least, let's go ahead and do that for the paragraph as well. For this one, let's set this to like 24 and the minimum to like 13. Perfect. And I'll also make sure that all of these elements are aligned to the center and not docked to the left because I don't like it doing that, so. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and resize the screen. You can see that now the content is not getting any bigger. The text is not getting any bigger, but button text is. So for the button text is unfortunately, there is no way to set a minimum and maximum value for the button. But what we can do is potentially set another breakpoint. So we can add a breakpoint and maybe we'll do 1440 and up. So if we go up to this breakpoint, what we can do is turn off the scaling properties for the button and maybe just set this to a fixed size. So now the button doesn't get any bigger, the text doesn't get any bigger, and everything looks just a little bit cleaner on larger desktops. All we now need to do is just go ahead and remove the background color from this container and everything looks pretty good. Um, and we can also just delete this top section here because we basically recreated it inside of this. Um, and then we can also, since we already have the margin applied to the container, we can just shrink the container. So now this is what it looks like and I think it looks pretty clean. But the cool thing is we can actually apply the same technique to the images if we wanted to. Instead of using a container, what we can do is just apply it to the image itself. Um, so if we turn on an advanced sizing for this 
image here. Instead of having it be stretched, what we can do is set this to be 100% width and 100% height, but, but we can set a maximum width of 1440, and then we can set a maximum height of 500 pixels. So now we should have something that looks like this. I'll just bring the section up a little bit, just like that. And now when we resize the screen to be really big, and now the image doesn't get like stupendously large. Now it has a set width and a set height. However, we can then come down to the smaller breakpoint, grab this image, and we can just remove the maximum content here. Make sure that the height is set to 100%. And now here on this size of screen, it can get as big or small as it needs to get. But because we have a larger desktop, the maximum values applied, this is what it's gonna look like. And I think that looks really, really good. But those have been two tips for how you can set maximum site widths inside of Wix Studio. Again, I do think this is just a temporary fix because they do have a feature planned in the near future where we can actually set maximum widths for the site and just make it a little bit nicer. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.